But it's all about it's all about the tension in the world that we need all this security. That's what it's all about, you know. It's like you guys are pretty busy. You got to admit that. Yeah, you're in uh, you're in Afghanistan. You're in Iraq. You got a rat in the middle. You're like kids at a fucking military candy store, aren't you? And still, the impressive part is you got time to be in search of peace. Bless your heart. <laughs> Because every president has that big campaign, don't they? In search of peace in the Middle East. Really? You guys are looking for peace? Try Hawaii. What the fuck are you doing in the Middle East looking for peace? There's been peace there for 5,000 years already. It's hot, it's sweaty, your shorts are up, you crack all year round. It's an insane kind of heat where you see two nuns fist fighting over a popsicle in Tel Aviv. It's my bitch. It's so hot I can't believe it. Trying to stay cool. That's why I believe the secret to world peace, share this if you wish, the secret to world peace, central air conditioning. Hmm? <laughs> cool people come from cool places, don't they? <laughs> Never heard of any seven night Eskimo war, have you? No. They're friendly, cuddly people. They cuddle extra people. They're into cuddling. I dig it. Sweden never invades anyone, do they? No, happy-go-lucky, meatball-sucking freaks do, 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 all day long, just taking apart furniture and sending them over to us. The nice people. That's why I'm suggesting, while we're working out this Palestinian homeland problem, let's offer the Palestinians central air conditioning, huh? We'll tie off the deal with a free Netflix deal. They'll buy it, they'll eat it up. Hey, there's Jews outside, you wanna throw rocks? No, nah, Christ, it's too hot. Close the door, you're letting it out, come on. In or out, in or out. I'm not here to chill out the whole Middle East. Hey, you want to build a bomb? Fuck no, Ozark, new season, starting tonight. <laughs> that much closer to peace? That's what we're looking for. You got to find peace at home first, though. You guys got, got busy streets out there, too. There's a lot of protesting going on. We've been watching it from over the fence. We can see you. And uh, it's occurred to me, have you guys learned nothing about protesting since the 60s? Haven't you figured out yet if you go anywhere in mass to express your opinion, they're just gonna hit you in the head with a fucking stick for it? Instead of spending all that money on buses, trains, and planes to go down to these events and have your will be known, spend your money wisely. Send the homeless. <laughs> they could use a change of scenery, right? Back them up some box lunches. Let them wander around bumming change off those rich banker fucks till they figure out the trickle-down effect's not trickling down far enough. They got a message to say. You know how cool it would look on the news? The line of riot police lined up, their plexiglass shields locked together, marching towards the wall of the homeless with their squeegees up and their eyes all lit up like Christmas morning. <laughs> they beat in the middle. <laughs> oh, hold my shield, I got a quarter here somewhere. <laughs> There's too much stress in the world. We're living in a time where we, we have too much fear and mistrust of other peoples and cultures, and we shouldn't have to live that way. It's not right, but we all know what the problem is, don't we, folks? It's not Muslims. They're good people. It's not Arabs. They're all right, they're just like us. It's fanatics, extremists, zealots. You know, people in a hurry to meet their god. You know, fuck off and take acid like everyone else. You know? <laughs> What's your hurry? 72 virgins waiting for the gates. So first of all, 72 virgins sounds a little greedy, doesn't it? Yeah, that's not deflowering, that's deforestation. That's not, that's not even good for nature. And secondly, 72 virgins. Who the fuck wants 72 virgins? Have you ever had one? Uh, you don't want 72 of them, do you? Ouch, it hurts, stop. Ouch, it hurts, get off. Ouch, 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 I want my mommy. Ouch, ouch, that's my bum. Ouch, 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 ouch. 72 bleeding, crying women huddled together in a corner, <laughs> consoling each other about what an asshole I am. What the fuck does that become heaven, huh? I want three greasy whores waiting at the gates when I gotta have it, quite frankly. I'm coming up, St. Peter, grease up the horse. I've been making people laugh all my life, and I think it's time for a little dividend from the Karma Bank. What I'm trying to say is, it's no one group's fault. You know, you can't pin it on any one group of people. There are cool Muslims out there. I know, I've met them. I was at a party in London, London, England, and I'm sitting there, I'm sipping on a beer and I'm smoking a joint to take the edge off the ecstasy we all just took. <laughs> it was a party. And I'm talking to this fella, and it turns out he's a Muslim. I'm going, hey, you're a Muslim? Awesome, we're having, we're sharing a, you know, a joint, we're having a beer. Wait a minute, you're on ecstasy too, aren't you? 
Well, you know, some people would say I'm not a very good Muslim. <laughs> Kidding, you're fucking great Muslim. What are you talking about? Ecstasy, let's use that shit up. Let's go on a hugging Shia. Come on. Let's go hug people. Oh, those hugging Muslims are so annoying. Not as annoying as the blowing up ones, for fuck's sake. Fuck. 